A question to ponder is, can the Eighth Doctor, the excellent Paul McGann, be counted as a classic era Doctor, or does he occupy the space between the classic era and the new era, neither one nor the other, but independent? Whatever the answer, we find him and his TARDIS here, under the heading Movie TARDISes. But before we can look at the 1996 box, we must first look at another TARDIS prop, the one created for two Doctor Who films in the 1960s. Doctor Who and the Daleks of 1965 and Daleks Invasion of Earth 2150 AD of 1966. The two British films were based on the Doctor Who television series, specifically the serials The Daleks and The Dalek Invasion of Earth, and differ in that they follow the time-travelling adventures of a human inventor called Doctor Who, played by Peter Cushing, and his companions as they come up against the Daleks. At the time these films were written, the mythos of Doctor Who had not yet been formed. The Doctor had yet to be revealed as a Time Lord from Gallifrey, law that became necessary when William Hartnell's health made his replacement inevitable. The police box shell of this TARDIS was closer to the Metropolitan Police Box in many ways. Its single door opened outwards. It had the correct number of roof stacks, although they were wider than the proper police box. It was taller than many of the television props, and wider. And its white police box interior was blatantly visible. Surprisingly, it did not have the frosted and tinted window panes of the authentic police box, or even of the television props. The glass panels are all clear. It also had the logo of the St John's Ambulance on the door, a feature shared by the Brahatsky box, the real police box, and one new era box which we will come to in the third video of this series. However, the models in these videos do not have the St John's logo. This is because I'm a little wary of using logos which may be subject to copyright. Although St John's ambulance probably wouldn't object too much, Doctor Who had ceased its television run by 1990, but it was not forgotten, and in 1996 came the Doctor Who television movie. A sneaky pilot for a revived series, we might call this American Doctor Who, although, unlike the two 1960s films, Paul McGann's Eighth Doctor is considered canon. The TARDIS prop was designed by Richard Houdolan and based on the fiberglass Yardley Jones prop, but with modifications. At least two were built, with one being a stunt box for the scene in which a police officer rides his motorcycle in through the doors, and then, for obvious reasons, very quickly leaves to seek psychiatric help. In many ways, this prop was an improvement over its 1980 predecessor. Gone were the flat panels and sides of the Yardley Jones box, as well as its wide lintel signs. Some of the window panes were of pebbled glass, and, like the Yardley Jones prop, these panels were arranged somewhat irregularly. The box had a very solid appearance, and there is an interesting detail concerning the placement of the telephone hatch handle, something that would reappear again on a later prop. So, there they are, the TARDIS movie props. In our next video, we will turn our attention to the TARDIS props of the new era, when Doctor Who returned to British television.